Hi, I'm Brett, and I want to show you what I've been working on for the last few months. This is the OS PID, the Open Source PID Controller. What's a PID Controller? Uh, it's funny you should ask. Let me show you. Okay, so one of the easiest ways that I can think of to explain what PID is, is to first show you what it isn't. So I've got the OS PID plugged into a toaster oven, and I've also got this graphing front end thing that I've got plugged in, and it's graphing what's happening. Now I've rigged up the OS PID to behave just the way a normal, a normal uh, toaster oven would work. So we can see that we've got the actual temperature, and we've got the temperature where we want to be. And what the controller's doing is just saying, if I'm below where I want to be, turn on. If I'm above where I want to be, turn off. And not surprisingly, this is called on-off control. Now, it worked, it's really reliable, right? I mean, it's just, it, it's bulletproof. Turns on, turns off, it's great. But you can see that we get some pretty heavy temperature swings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it from on-off to PID control, and then we'll see how that changes. So we'll just give that a second to settle out, and then we'll see how things have changed. Okay, so we can see that as soon as we switched over from on-off to PID, instead of the output going between full off and full on, it's kind of traveled between that, between 0 and 100%, kind of giving us an intermediate value. And because it did that, we can see that we get much tighter control around where we actually want to be. So that's what PID control is all about. So as you can see, PID is about getting tighter control. And I showed you a toaster oven, but uh, it's used all over the place. You, know, you could use it in a balancing robot or uh, the sous vide cookers that you've been seeing uh, all use PID, or all the ones that I've seen use PID. Uh, the open PCR and like PCR machines, pretty much anywhere where you need tighter control can benefit from PID. And this thing implements it in a nice compact package with a streamlined interface and it's completely open. So I think it's pretty cool and hopefully you do too.